So I need to edit this toolpath to see if I can make it any faster um, without changing the speeds and feeds. So I'm going into the parameters dialog box again. And what I'm going to do in this case now is I'm going to reduce my feed plane down to one millimeters. Okay, so it's basically going to wrap it from the retract plane down to the feed plane, which is one millimeters above the final depth. Okay, and it's actually half a millimeter above the top of the stock. Okay, and if I was to green tick that, and you'll notice I have a little X on here. So that means that that toolpath has been changed but has not been regenerated yet with Mastercam. So what Mastercam calls this operation a dirty operation. So again, I'm going to regenerate all dirty operations. Now you'll notice here, if I zoom in here now, it's rapiding to here and then feeding down that uh, just for one millimeters. And again, rather than running verification, what I can do on here is under toolpath, if I click on here, I can, I'm in a back plot operation. If I hit the little arrows on here to expand it and hit the info tab, I'm now down to 59 seconds. So essentially, okay, I've taken about uh, five, five to six, nearly six seconds off the um, cycle time. Not massive, okay, but let's see if we can make it any faster. Um, another thing that you can do with backplot is that, again, if I click on here, or I can access the backplot from here, um, I can see here that I can actually drag this across the screen, okay, and it shows me basically how I am cutting that tool. So at the moment, what I have highlighted is display tool and quick verify, and that's showing me the track that that cutter is actually taking. So maybe if I was to look down at the top while doing that, and I'll just unzoom a little bit. So unzoom, unzoom, unzoom. Okay, and now you can see that essentially 50% of the face mill is actually not cutting the material. Okay, and then I come across, I've wrapped it up and back down and then coming across again. So you can see here again um, quite a considerable amount of the cutter again is not cutting. So we're really only cutting on this half area of the cutter. And again this depends on the material that you're machining um, and your face mill. So it's doing that in one, two, three, four passes. Okay, so I'm going to look at my parameters and see if, whether I can fix that a little bit. So again, I'm going to go into my parameters to edit it. And I'm happy with my linking parameters now. So I'm going to go back to my cut parameters. And at the moment, I can see that I have an across overlap. So that means that the across overlap meant that 50% of the cutter is overhanging. So this blue line is the center line of the tool. So half the tool is not cutting. So I'm going to reduce that down and say, okay, I want to have a 20% overlap. Um, what that then calculates is 20% of 63 mil is actually 12.6 millimeters. I love to work in the percentages, but obviously you can just type in uh, the millimeter dimensions of overlap if you long if you like i'm going to leave the along overlap at the moment and then i have an approach distance and the approach distance is set to 50 percent of the cutter and again i'm going to reduce that down to 20 percent of the cutter and i'm going to reduce it down from my exit distance to 20 percent of the cutter the max step over i'm saying i'm going to make my max step over 100 let's say 120 percent of the cutter so that means the step over is going to be 75 millimeters between cuts i have on here automatically set reverse the direction of the last pass so i can reverse the direction of the last pass so again if i was to accept that 
and again regenerate the operation. You can see now that I'm doing that essentially in two passes and again if I was to back plot it you can see the cutter coming down cutting coming across and cutting so that is cleaning up the full surface again on back plot again I meant to look at the time you can see I've cut this down to 26 seconds that's purely by taking a bigger width of cut so what was 1 minute 6 seconds is now down to 26 seconds so I am greater than 50% faster than I was initially still using the exact same speeds and feeds but just increasing my step over and reducing my feed down okay um, again there's various options that you can play with in here that if I went to the parameters again I could say rather than the style being one way which is to feed across wrap it up wrap it over wrap it down feed across I could also make this zigzag leaving all of these parameters the same I'm just going for a zigzag operation on here and if I was to regenerate that that looks extremely familiar to the last operation okay that I did um, because of the number of passes and um, one thing you can do with zigzag is this is feeding along here okay so if I went back into this operation here and still on zigzag but the move between cuts I can change that to being a high speed loop and the feed rate between the cuts I'm going to put in as 5000 okay and just watch what happens so when I regenerate it what it does is it adds a loop on the end of this but that this arc is going to happen at 5000 millimeters a minute it's nearly like a a fairly fast rapid if I again look at my tool path and was to back plot it I've now cut another four seconds off the tool path so I'm getting close now to 30 percent of what I was originally and um, so it was originally one minute six seconds and I'm now down to 22 nearly 23 seconds so I've saved quite a considerable amount of time okay again if I was to verify that and play happy days